Hi, Dr. Centeno, and let's talk about cervical medullary syndrome. What is it and why is it a big deal? Basically, the dens can go backwards and press on the upper spinal cord and medulla. Now, the good news is that in most situations, this is not some sort of permanent issue. The issue was probably there beforehand, but instability was added into the mix, and that instability causes irritation of the upper cervical cord and medulla, hence the symptoms. Now, if we get rid of the instability, then oftentimes we don't need to do anything about the cervical medullary syndrome itself. It's always been there. So again, if you've got issues related to cervical medullary syndrome, just realize that getting checked out for craniocervical instability is a key component. And if you're unstable, getting the instability treated is probably what you need. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.